really has um, got some strong potential here. Of course, he knocked out Makana, who's a um, rather veteran player in our area, so... Very impressive working on there, so we're gonna have to see how he fares against Fubu. So Fubu actually often go for the blade skin here. Not something I would have expected, I definitely put him uh, the situation. So we're gonna see how Fubu works it out. Maybe he's been uh, lapping some Charizard stuff ever since um, Zephyrul's run at Guard Break earlier. Starting off, Fubu just trying to bait out something here. Probably going to board wide. YGL throwing out all the attacks. Getting close. And that is a punch right there. I think it's not so punchable. Maybe. Oh, nice work right there with the Indirect. But again, with the Heat Wave and the attack of which really matters against high DPS characters. Well, not DPS, but high damage characters like Charizard. Excellent back Y. Um, back to the there. Destroys projectile. So, um, Charizard gets a bit too comfortable using his, say, Charge JY or Neutral Y. And might be a nice punch right there. Ooh, and here comes a nice combo with the block. So much pressure on Blaze's butt. Oh, nice against the right click. Nice predictions like that can really work out. Alright, YGL to try and do some exchanges with the uh, flamethrower. Oh, Froggy Bear coming in. Able to hit right there, but not able to convert into much. It's important to know that um, he still is in high position because of uh, Blaziken's recoil damage. So YGL still is in this. 106 damage is something that Charizard can get rid of pretty quickly. Because the burst attack is gonna get shielded. YGL definitely has nice respect for Blaz Mega Blaziken. Even coming in, get some health back. There's a shield break right there. Is Fubu gonna be able to kill off of it? Yep, there it is right there. Alright, so Fubu taking that right there. Alright, so. Alright, back into this match here. So, YGL does have a full energy which ready to go. When he can, I very expect when he goes into. Um, Mega Charizard is definitely a resource that you really want to use as much as you can. Alright. Alright, um. Alright, so here we go. So YGL uh, popping his EV, he's definitely going to be able to put some pressure on him and get in. And a Fubu just nicely stomping his approach right there. But now here comes Mega Charizard. This is where things can get scared for Fubu. However, Sky Uppercut working out in his favor. Man, look at that damage from Flamethrower. It's such a powerful move and burst, and its chip damage is absolutely insane. Oh, and there's the burst right there. It's gonna get shielded, however. It's gonna be some handy chip, nonetheless. Oh, and there's the damage right there. Blaze Kick snagging that victory right there. Fumu taking the first game. Pretty However, YPL really doing some nice work with Fumu. I saw him definitely wanted to utilize a lot more of its anti here, such as, um, Sky Uppercut definitely came in quite a bit there. I also saw at the very end he did use Flop, which is actually, um, well, his release X. Bird Flop, if you don't know. Um, but it's that um, kick upwards like that. It actually has very similar properties to Garchomp's release X, where it's a very strong anti air. However, it's a little bit less um, vital for Blazing because his attacks are one a lot better, and also release X. Uh, and also, Blazing's release X is not as strong. we can see more of it. Completely. Alright, so here we go. Second round here. I think YGL switched to a new support. I didn't quite see what it was though. It wasn't quite looking. Alright. Oh, looks like he's sticking to Eevee. It might have been a um, true skill change or maybe he just considered something, but going back on the idea. Yeah. I, I, again, Fumu just making nice use of that back Y right there to destroy his projectiles. Okay, comes. Oh, not able to convert to a full combo. Um, YGL doing a nice job using his fast attack as 2Y in that tight situation. Excellent bait by YGL. Um, baiting out such a, um, a very slow anti right there and able to punish. And here comes the seismic cog. YGL definitely looking a lot more comfortable right now. That's interesting, actually. He started to use his high stance there for a second, trying to armor attack or something. Excellent reset by Fumu, um, not confirming with the full combo, instead of opting for grabs. I 
again. Ah, so you can just really take advantage of those. Nah, that's what Racing really, really likes to do. You can't afford to always put on pressure because he just gets blown up. Like that right there with Fire Punch. Now Fuji's gonna be able to activate his bird right now. This is gonna be a dangerous situation for YGL. Another tech grab right there. Excellent work by Fuji. He is a lot more playing games up, starting to face stuff out. Making it so YGL might not want to be protecting nearly as much as that shield. Again, Fumi just awesome, uh, amazingly getting at that. YGL's field is just not working out for him right now. But can really, really do some nice work. Fire Punch, not to convert anything because it was a crit. Amazing to see five I'm not quite sure if that's a true punish. Um, I know Ford Y, I think that's Ford Y. Um, is a very laggy move. I don't know if it's that laggy. Mega Blazin though coming out to the table. I think YGL might be on considering using his own Mega. Alright, so Fumu just able to go over there, but YGL throwing out some attacks and trying to just rub Fumu. It's working out pretty well. Didn't take too much damage from that burst though. Alright, just coming out trying to get something, and there's another grab right there being the Fire Punch. YGL really sees this and there it is right there. Let's see. 265 damage is, is something that um, Mega Charizard can get done that quickly with the right play. Alright, so Fumi getting combo gun. We're not able to quite finish it off though. Alright, here comes the burst. Hope we should chip, but Fumi was out of the way. Oh, and that red armor coming into play right there. And Fumi taking it 2 over YGL. But how YGL has a nice place and there's a nice base and, and all. Really good stuff. I hope we get to see more from YGL in the loser side of the bracket.